So Double Weapon XP is currently active this weekend in Cold War and so I thought now would be the perfect opportunity to explain the best ways to level up your weapons fast in the game so that you're making the most of Double Weapon XP while it's active. So in this video I'm going to be covering the fastest ways to level up your weapons in Cold War multiplayer and zombies and with some of these methods you can potentially max out the weapon level for a gun in just one game. That's right, just one game. So stay tuned to know how to do that so you don't miss out on any important tips. But if you want to jump to a specific part of the video there will be timestamps in the description for anyone that needs them. So we're going to start off with multiplayer, talk about that, and then we're going to move on to zombies in terms of outbreak and in terms of round based zombies. So make sure you stick around to that. And then at the very end we'll talk about some tips to kind of improve all three ways in terms of some little boosts and some little tricks as well. Up until now outbreak has been the best mode since season 2 launched in terms of getting weapon XP, it was really really fast. Lately however I've noticed that that seems to have gone down, it seems that Treyarch have possibly nerfed weapon XP rates. So Outbreak is still really good, but I don't think it's currently the number one spot. But yeah, let's talk about multiplayer first, because that's probably the best way at the moment to level up your weapons in Cold War. And then we'll talk about zombies. Depending on how good you are and your playstyle, that will depend on whether multiplayer or zombies is best for you. And I'll have a kind of comparison at the end as to which mode is best. So in terms of multiplayer... I think Fireteam Dirty Bomb is, again, currently the best method for getting weapon XP. Basically, the reason why Fireteam Dirty Bomb is really good is because in the low weapon levels, each weapon kill will get you to the next weapon level, whereas in the higher weapon levels, several kills will be enough to get you another weapon level. So weapon XP is really, really high in this game mode, at least for the first sort of 15 to 20 weapon levels you're getting each level in one or two kills so let's say you get like 20 kills in fireteam dirty bomb that'll be enough to jump start you from like level one up to level 20 at least the other good thing is that in this mode you down the enemy and then you have to shoot them again to kill them. Let's say you down them into that last stand mode and someone else killed them, that would count as an assist and obviously in this game assists give you the same amount of weapon XP as a kill. Getting those assists are still good in Fireteam so if you can get a couple bullets into someone that's really good as well. So this means that for example if you had a primary weapon you shoot someone into that last stand mode and then you swap to your other weapon and shoot them with that you should get the weapon XP for both weapons which helps you level up two weapons faster. So if there's two weapons you need to do put them both on a class and that is a great way to level up both weapons quicker and you can't do that in other modes. If you guys can't get a lot of kills, if you struggle with it, because it's a little bit more difficult than standard multiplayer, then there are other modes too we'll talk about, such as, you know, obviously there's free-for-all, domination, team deathmatch or kill confirmed. Hardcore is ideal, especially if these weapons are difficult to use or you haven't got any good attachments because it's a low-level weapon. Obviously, hardcore can be good for this. But yeah, those kind of modes can be all right. You could also use the blueprints you have unlocked for a weapon, which comes with sort of built-in attachments so you don't have to struggle leveling up the base weapon with zero attachments. For other modes, face-off 3v3 is quite good it's very good as long as you're getting a decent number of kills you want to sort of aim for 20 plus kills per game really they're short games they're small maps and you get kills quickly so it's a decent match and obviously there's other mosh pit modes as well like newtown 24 7 that's really really good if you hang around the high flow areas of the map or you push into the enemy spawns to get kills fast you know hang around the downstairs part of the house or the side corridors whatever that is really good and obviously hardcore can help as well make it even faster to get those kills but obviously if you don't like hardcore you can stick with regular core so nuketown's really good as long as you're getting a decent number of kills for that mode you probably want to aim for at least sort of 20 to 30 kills if not more again that's decent but i don't think it's quite as good as fireteam obviously like i said earlier getting assists awards you with the same amount of weapon xp as getting kills so even if you don't think you can kill them put one or two bullets into them and hopefully a teammate will clean them up for you to give you that assist to give you that decent amount of weapon xp so like i said that's probably the fastest way to do it for multiplayer at the moment but let's move on to zombies and first we'll talk about outbreak like i said outbreak a few weeks ago was probably the best weapon xp mode it's probably very close to fire team but i think fire team has the slight edge at the moment and what you want to do is you want to go around the world killing as many zombies as you can find so you obviously want to be guided by your uov which shows you where they are on the map once you've cleared all the zombies in one region you need to go to the next one and so on and consider using vehicles to get to these zombie hotspots faster and then make sure you use insta kills where you can and try and get as many kills as you can while insta kill is active avoid collecting the nuke power-ups as this obviously destroys the zombies and it means that you can get less kills with your weapon and also don't gum butt the zombies like don't melee with your weapon because this actually doesn't count as the weapon killing them so you don't get weapon xp for it you obviously want to try and hunt down as many special or boss zombies as possible as well as these give you more weapon xp than the standard zombies so if you see any go for these bad boys and they'll get you some good weapon xp and 
and you also want to try and complete world events on the map as these are great for attracting lots more zombies. So obviously the three types of world events are the dragons, the hunting hordes and the golden chests. So for dragons what you need to do is you need to get kills within a ring of fire to fuel the dragon rocket to launch the dragon into the sky. Once you activate this you have to stand within the ring of fire circle. Lots of zombies will run at you so obviously this is great for getting more kills because they're coming towards you. You don't have to go finding them. If you need to step out of the circle so you don't die obviously feel free that's just for getting the kills. Tons of zombies will throw themselves at you so definitely if you see a dragon icon on the map go towards it and do this. We've also got the hunting hordes again this is really good but you've got more elite zombies so you need to kill all the normal zombies then the special zombies and elites to get loads more weapon xp and you also get a free perk once you kill them all so go to the skulls icon on the map and interact with a dead body to play an audio log and then go to where the skull icon has moved to you'll probably have a like a few panzers or a megaton or a mangler or something there'll also be hounds and normal zombies as well so kill them all use your ring of fire if you need to finally we've got opening golden chests and once you open the chest it spawns loads of elite zombies obviously be careful and that you're fully prepared you've got ammo and if you've got enough points upgrade your weapon and so on those are really good ways and if you see those you'll probably have one to two of those world events on your map then definitely go for them and don't miss out on them you'll get thousands of points on the first map like i say so once you get enough make sure you pack a punch your weapon and buy any perks you need like speed cola to reload faster possibly juggernog to have more health that kind of thing and also use the salvage that you collect from the zombies to upgrade your weapon damage at the weapon and armor stations once you've done all of these things go for the objective so there'll be one main objective on the map and the best objective type is defend as loads of zombies run at you from all directions while you protect a zombie head and it's an insane amount of kills you get obviously loads of weapon xp so that's probably the best objective you want to go for of course there are other good ones as well like hold out so you're in a room and loads of zombies spawn in try and come through the windows um, it's not as good but obviously it's still quite good you get lots of kills so that can be great there's also other good ones as well like escort and retrieve they're not too bad escort you just got to escort the drone and every now and then you have swarms of zombies coming towards you of course they're not the same number of zombies as the defend objective but it's still a lot so that's good and then retrieve you've got to pick up these ethereum crystal containers but when you do that there'll be loads of zombies swarming on you so it's a very annoying objective but you do get a lot of kills as well so it can be quite decent. There is also an eliminate the elite objective but this is not as good for kills or weapon XP because it's mainly the elite you've got to focus on. There obviously are normal zombies but not as many of them I would say. So these are good for getting kills on normal zombies and elites and specials and so on. Once you've got all the kills on the map, once you've done the world events then focus on the objective and do that. When you've killed all the zombies on the first region you then want to warp to the next map and repeat the process again. And then if the objective is crap, so for example if it's an eliminate one or retrieve, obviously they're good but they can be very annoying so they're not the best then it may be worth ending there otherwise just carry on and get kills around the map before completing the objective and then make sure to upgrade your weapons and perks along the way i personally think it's worth doing the objective regardless but some people may not like that objective as much and would rather start again and do a different one it's up to you guys but i think carry on do the second objective once you've got kills all around the map and then after this walk to the third difficulty level and complete the process again going around the map getting kills again same way by this point you should have leveled up your weapon probably by at least 20 to 30 levels and especially if you have double weapon xp active in terms of tokens or double xp weekends so obviously 20 to 30 levels if that's the case then obviously if you've got a weapon that go only goes up to like level 30 so like the shotguns the melee weapons the specials and the pistols weapons like that that's your weapon fully leveled up in one game obviously you could keep going and you can probably get 30 to 40 levels done with another few warps and if you kept going you could technically obviously get weapons like level 50 which is what you need for camo challenges within the game but obviously you'd have to keep going past level 3. Now in my opinion because in zombies the way it works is that the higher the round the less weapon xp per kill which is obviously the same for outbreak as well this means that it's probably not worth going past difficulty level 3. So once you finish difficulty level 3 so once you've done the objective and got all the kills from the zombies on the map I think it's then best to choose to exfil at that point so obviously when you go to exfil kill all the zombies or elites on the way and then your game will end you then want to start another match ideally in solo and repeat the process all over again so if you do that you can easily go up a lot of levels within a game and it's probably more efficient because you're staying in one match compared to doing lots of little matches in multiplayer so that's outbreak what about normal round based zombies if you don't want to play outbreak well it's good but it's probably not quite as good so i still find to do and if you need to do other stuff like camo challenges or anything else it's probably worth doing the normal round based zombies but like i say outbreak is probably better so i think the best method is on demon 
machine and you want to be doing the penthouse strategy i'm sure a lot of you are aware of that so for anyone that doesn't know what you need to do is spawn in to the match and kill the zombies as fast as possible on rounds one and two and then at the end of round two buy the left door in the first room so you go into the building and then turn right and buy the debris at the top of the stairs you then go straight ahead and up the ramp to reach the top floor of the building and head to the back and this is known as the penthouse area so then you want to sit in the corner that i'm showing you guys and shoot the zombies as fast as possible this strategy is ideal because in the penthouse region the zombies spawn much faster than elsewhere meaning that you can get kills more quickly and progress through the rounds faster and the zombies can only spawn behind the concrete barricade to your left or you know walk across or climb over the wall of the narrow walkway region of the rooftop hence they can only come from two directions straight ahead or to your left so it's easy to keep an eye on that they can't run up behind you or anything if you do get overrun there's a little area where you can kind of train in that little bit at the back in the penthouse as well so if you get stuck you can still kind of get out of the situation and if the worst came to the worst you could open the back door although i'd recommend not doing that so when you're up here make sure you avoid picking up the nuke unless you absolutely need it to survive as obviously this will take away from the kills you can get with your weapon and similarly don't gun by but with your weapon you only want to shoot them as i said earlier gun butt kills don't count towards weapon xp also make use of insta kills when you have them so you can kill loads of zombies in one go you know massive hordes and you should also equip the ring of fire field upgrade before you start the match so that when there is a large horde of zombies you can use the ring of fire to do more damage and kill them much faster it would work better if you're playing with other team members so that you can all equip ring of fire and then you can activate your field upgrade in turns so that one person activates it you all stand in the circle then that runs out then your one recharges while someone else activates theirs then you quickly kill loads of zombies and you keep going in a circle like that so it's more effective than doing the strategy solo however if you do need to do it solo you can still use the field upgrade if and when you need it obviously it takes a little while to recharge so it's probably worth doing it in the later rounds once you have this field upgrade you can literally kill the zombies so much faster because they take so much more damage and obviously that gets through the rounds quicker and and gets you kills faster when you run out of ammo what you can do is obviously look around for the max ammo or zombies sometimes drop ammo packs so you can pick up those but if you need to restock a lot of ammo then obviously drop down onto the middle floor then run down the stairs turn right buy the ammo from the chest and then head back upstairs to the penthouse at the top and this is best done at the end of a round and then after about round 15 the amount of weapon xp per zombie kill starts to drop so it's no longer worth staying in the match obviously you could do if you need to get stuff done you'll still get lots of weapon xp but relative to the number of kills you're getting it's actually worse off and so you probably be better to restart the strategy by starting another match but don't just end there obviously so what i recommend is sort of x filling on round 15 or 16 to get you some more kills and obviously you can get other things like ethereum crystals if you need them as well obviously more xp stuff like that so obviously it's worth doing that it might also be worth heading over to the pack punch machine to upgrade your weapon or buy some perks before you exfil so you probably do this around round 12 or 13 when you exfil kill as many zombies as you can at the landing site with your upgraded weapon and then if you have bought the chopper gunner score streak you can use this to clear the remaining zombies so you can exfil and get more xp or ethereum crystals in the process if you need it so those are kind of the best modes we're going to quickly talk about some other methods to boost the amount of xp you're getting and then we'll quickly talk about the best mode overall so obviously there's double weapon xp weekends there's one right now active so take advantage of that while you can get as many games in with these weapons that you need to level up as you can so that you can level up as many weapons as possible there's also double weapon xp tokens and there's a number of different places you can get these from so you can get these from the playstation store so check that because they have free playstation packs for warzone like combat packs so you can get those they sometimes have double weapon xp tokens so check that out the for you section of the store often has free bundles including double weapon xp tokens in them so check out the store regularly if it comes up with a free bundle under the store tab then check that and sometimes you get double weapon xp tokens leveling up the battle pass to certain tiers also does and if you need to do that i've got a guide for how to level up tiers fast so that will help you if you need any more double weapon xp tokens the other thing as well is if you also have any double weapon xp tokens that are specific to warzone so ones that were originally unlocked in modern warfare you can't use these directly now in cold war so they'll only show up when you're playing warzone and not show up when you're playing cold war however because you can use the modern warfare tokens across modern warfare and war Warzone what that means is that if you head over to Warzone you'll see these exclusive tokens to Warzone activate one of them and then jump back on Cold War and you can see that these secret tokens to level up your weapons even faster carry across to Cold War finally the main thing is if you're on PlayStation playing with a teammate either on PlayStation or through crossplay will give you a 25% bonus with your weapon XP so if you pair this with the other tips it allows you to level up your guns really really fast so don't forget about that what's the best method overall well currently 
it seems that it has gone back to Fireteam Dirty Bomb. If they buff the Weapon XP in Outbreak again, because it was really good when it first came out, then that will be the best mode. But at the moment, it seems Fireteam Dirty Bomb is probably the best. However, that only is if you're getting a decent number of kills. So I think you really need to be aiming for sort of at least 15 to 20 kills per game, if not more. And if you're struggling to do that, then I don't think Fireteam Dirty Bomb is best for you. You can obviously then go on Nuketown or other good modes like that. But I think if you can't do Fireteam Dirty Bomb, the best mode is probably Outbreak. And obviously, if you don't want to do Outbreak, you can do D-Machine, but Outbreak is probably the second best at the moment. Like I said, hopefully it comes back to top tier, but at the moment it's second, but a close second. These are kind of the fastest ways to level up your guns currently in Cold War. If you found these tips helpful, leaving a like on the video would be much appreciated so that other people can find this video too. If you have any other tips that I didn't mention, then make sure to share them with us in the comment section. And as I previously mentioned, I also make tons of other useful multiplayer, zombies and warzone challenge guides, you know, for camos, DLC weapon unlocks, but also best class setups, guides on how to level up your battle pass or weapon fast and then obviously other stuff like earning ethereum crystals fast in zombies so if any of this appeals to you guys then hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon next to it so you can turn on post notifications and don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos would be greatly appreciated but thank you all so much for watching hope you found it useful and i'll see you guys all hopefully on the next video